Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 20th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signal for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now uh, in terms of uh, market reaction overnight, uh, Shanghai certainly lower again. The Nikkei is slightly finding its uh, footing and uh, stabilizing to somewhat. Uh, the main real uh, narrative was the uh, sell-off in crude, quite a substantial sell-off in oil, although it has stabilized now, thank God. Uh, Saudis, I did indicate in yesterday's video, you, you would see stabilization in oil, which in turn would indicate stabilization in the FTSE at uh, 7100, and that's exactly what we're observing thus far. Okay, so certainly save stabilization here. If I just take the pivot high, connect it across. So uh, the Saudis and the Kuwaiti certainly indicating a, um, a uh, an agreement in terms of uh, potentially quitting oil as well. Uh, also the uh, the uh, supply concerns certainly weighing on the opposite side. So we're certainly short squeezing at the moment, but uh, certainly not in free fall. So that's good news. Okay, in terms of oil, if you look at the daily chart, okay, of oil certainly quite a flush ever since we closed that gap. The market certainly went into free fall. Now, if we uh, just take out. The Take the pivot low to the pivot high. I mean, this diagonal trend line really needs to be cleaned up as well. Let me just uh, organize this chart. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so it's the diagonal trend line here. Ever since we uh, closed this gap, the market certainly went into free fall. Okay, so uh, you are seeing potential support here now. Previous resistance equals support. You're into fib retracement as well, fib 50% support. So, therefore, one a strong argument. For the uh, the actual um, oil certainly to find support. Uh, also in terms of um, the FTSE as well, as we already know, the FTSE and oil certainly move in tandem, so uh, and vice versa. So you have this key diagonal trend line certainly coming into play. Okay, so uh, certainly into support in terms of oil. Therefore, you are looking at commodity currencies certainly being uh, uh, into support as well, and potentially pushing higher. So watch out for the Aussie, and watch out for the Kiwi as well. Potential rally is expected. Okay, now in terms of um, news flow, uh, other than the uh, German inflation data this morning, we did get European construction data, certainly on the stronger side. We do have Mr. Carney speaking later on, so again, that's going to be quite volatile, so certainly be mindful of that. In terms of the bearish arguments, I'll just sum them up for you today. You had Nikkei certainly flat, Shanghai negative, S&P negative overnight. Oil certainly sold off quite substantially, French election uncertainty, uh, UK election uncertainty, North Korea certainly in their background, and also there was a Reuters poll with regards to G Chinese GDP certainly coming in weaker. A bullish argument is the Nasdaq certainly remains strong, and therefore the Nasdaq is chief, and therefore you should see a rally in the DAX as well. Uh, earnings news certainly positive. Sky, Man Group, Unilever also all helping earnings, and that's why you're seeing a pop in European indices today. Okay, and Kuwait stating the OPEC deal certainly is uh, is a go, and the Saudis certainly backing that up. German inflation on the downside, therefore obviously helping the cause in terms of additional QE. And there was a report with regards to extension of QE given the weaker deflationary environment. Uh, ECB Reuters poll as well, certainly uh, arguing towards an extension of QE and European construction output certainly coming in on the stronger side. So overall, net-net, certainly some bullish arguments certainly winning this morning and that's why we're seeing a, a rally in European indices. Okay, so German DAX, let's see exactly where we stand. So German DAX certainly selling off from the pivot highs. German DAX certainly very, very weak compared to its peers, which is very, very strange. Now, you are seeing an inverted head and shoulders formation, uh, obviously uh, accumulating here. So one would certainly be cautious of any potential short positions. So just be mindful of that, folks. Okay, so looking for a rally. But bear in mind that you do have the French election uncertainty, so certainly uh, certainly brewing in the background. The 60-minute chart showing German DAX uh, holding that lower uh, diagonal trend line. Uh, holding lower channel, so therefore looking for a pop up to 12100 now in the German DAX. So, by certainly, <clears throat> argument would certainly, from my perspective, remain bullish, but we need to respect the uh, the actual election uncertainty in the background as well. So, bear that in mind. Okay, moving on to the French CAC now. French CAC very strong today, uh, strong mainly due to the fact that uh, oil price is certainly staging a rebound. Uh, or CAC obviously very sensitive. It actually even took out pivot R3 resistance, which was very, very impressive. Especially uh, given the fact that it was uh, dwindling at the pivot lows around the 4980, 4990. Quite an impressive thrust at that, almost a 70 point thrust. So very, very impressive, especially given the 
election uncertainty. Very, very impressive, so it has to be respected. Previous support equals resistance in the French CAC, and that's exactly where we uh, reversed, okay? The market started to go into a downward form. Now, if we do reverse, you are looking at previous resistance equals support, so you're seeing support of 5.010. Watch out for that level below, okay? Daily chart on the French CAC remains a bear flag scenario, okay? I mean, we could get a potential uh, uh, Le Pen victory or Le Pen going through the first round, creating that uh, uncertainty, and therefore you're looking at a HNS formation that would be triggered, and then therefore you're looking for a gap fill below at 49 or 4850, 4840. So keep your mind, keep your options open, okay? Uh, be flexible. FTSE at the present is certainly rebounding and bouncing. It's been severely, severely oversold, okay? Severely oversold. Looking for a bounce and a pop here on the uh, FTSE 10 daily chart, obviously diagonal trend line support, and therefore looking for a pop. 60 minute chart certainly into support as well, and therefore looking for a pop. Now, if we pop on the FTSE, let's just have a look here. If we pop on the FTSE, where do we go? The FTSE pop will take us up to at least 7130 and then 7140 and then 7160 is gap fill. So, bias remains bullish for me, okay, on the FTSE 100. And I've also I just I'll confirm that I am actually long the FTSE as well on the day trading live analysis service. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European equities. Really, it's a rebound in oil, oil stabilising, and therefore you're looking at FTSE stabilising. In terms of the euro, you you are witnessing a rally in the um, in the euro USD. Uh, now you are it is retracing now though. Uh, having said that, it is retracing and therefore is providing some sort of reprieval. We did actually get a rally up to uh, a pivot high of 1.077 this morning, so very impressive. Okay, so just certainly watch out for the euro and the inverse relationship between equities. Uh, let's just bring up the chart of GBP as well. Okay, so GBP USD certainly into resistance now. Uh, okay, selling off and therefore, if you have GBP USD into resistance and you have oil into support, there's only one way so FTSE is going to go, and that's going to be higher, okay? So just bear that in mind. Uh, gap fill resistance is seen at 1.2980. We haven't got there as of yet, but uh, certainly keep your mind open in terms of the next potential move on the uh, currency, okay, in terms of the uh, GBP US, USD. But from my perspective, for now, it certainly is extremely, extremely uh, overbought, okay? Certainly making a pivot high here at 1.2960, or sorry, 1.2860, sorry. Okay, and therefore one would argue that you are looking to potentially move lower. Okay, certainly looking to move lower. Okay, on that note, I think that should be a summation of your this morning's price action. Bullish on the FTSE, bearish on European equities. Okay, overall, I'd say uh, the rally in the equity market is certainly stalling in terms of the German DAX, certainly languishing, which isn't a good sign. Really, the German DAX should be the leader, especially with the Nasdaq being so bullish. So. Very surprised at the weakness in the German DAX, although having said that, watch out for the inverted head and shoulders formation. And going into this uh, potential election, first round of the elections in Sunday, I can certainly understand why. But nevertheless, keep your options open, be flexible as a trader, and be sure to visit see, uh, Trade Signaler, uh, trade signaler and uh, www.tradesignaler.com, and you can download the apps, the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Also, be sure to visit CFDs.com. Goodbye now.